Hello guys, this is a new Blender beginner tutorial for cloth simulation. In a previous tutorial we created this table here and now we are going to add the table cloth. So the first thing I do is to add a simple plane, press shift and A and go to mesh, plane. And then you can use the move tool to move it a bit to the upside. Like that, then I snap the view to top auto graphic. Then I enable X-Ray and set the shading to wireframe so that we can see the table through the plane. Alright, then I use the scale tool and scale up the plane for the X and the Y axis so that it overlaps the table. This should work, now I reset the shading and the X-Ray. And for we scaled it in object mode I press Ctrl and the A key and then I apply the scale. That's important because otherwise the scale is not normalized. Ok, then I switch to edit mode, right click and select subdivide. I increase the number of cuts to 64 so that we have a more dense geometry. Ok, looks good. Now I change again to object mode and we are adding the modifiers. First for the table, that has to be a collision object. So with the table selected, I go to Physics and select Collision. All the settings I keep to default. Alright, nice. Now let's come to the plane. I select it and this will work as the tablecloth. So on the Physics tab, I select Cloth. All these settings I keep as they are. But here for the collisions, I increase the quality, set it to 5. And I also enable the self collisions. And that's it, now you can press the spacebar and the simulation is started. Ok, works, but I right click and set the shading to smooth. Looks pretty good, we have 60 frames for the simulation, which is ok. You could adjust the end frame here in this text field, but I'll leave it to 60. Now the geometry is a bit edgy, but we can add a modifier to increase the density of the mesh. For this I change to the modifier tab and add a multi-resolution modifier. I subdivide one time by pressing this button and now you see the mesh looks pretty nice and smooth. Let's have a look at the scene in the material preview. And this already looks quite good. We have one point light, a simple plane as the floor and what I want to do now is to use this tablecloth as a mesh. So at this frame here, frame 60, but of course you can use any other frame, I go to the modifiers tab and apply the modifiers. First the cloth and then the multi-resolution. And when you go to edit mode now, you see the resulting mesh. If you like, you can change to Sculpt mode, for example, and modify the mesh as you like. We can use the grab brush and add some slight modifications to make the mesh look more realistic and believable. Add these adjustments very carefully. You can add some folds and wrinkles using the cloth brush as well. But for this I changed the viewport shading to solid so that I can see it better. I now drag slightly with the cloth brush over the mesh to add simple modifications. When these are too intense, you can press the shift key and smooth out these modifications again. And that's it, pretty short and simple but I tried to keep this introduction straight to the point. If you have any questions, then add these to the comments below. And if you want to see more of these simulation videos, then let me know. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and I'll see you in the next one here on JNM.